take four. Hey guys, okay, take five. Hey guys, okay, take six. Okay, take seven. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Leslie, and for today's video, I wanted to give you guys a little vanity tour. Thought it was the best way to start the year 2020 on my channel. So, I have had this bad boy for about a year and a half. I was going through a really rough time after a breakup, you know, very sad. And my dad knew how much I've been wanting a vanity, so he made it. My dad made my vanity, which is pretty fucking dope. Let's just get started. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so this is my vanity. I do keep this light here all the time because it just gives me like an extra light. Usually when I do my makeup, I turn it on and it just like illuminates me, you know. And for my videos, it's also pretty helpful. So let's start on this side. Okay, I totally am in my PJs and it's like three o'clock, but we good. So this is the left side or right side, depending on where you're at. So here I have some palettes. Honestly, the reason I have them up here is because they don't fit in the drawers. I have my Morphe and James Charles palette and my Morphe the Jaclyn Hill palette. I made this actually probably like in one of those DIY videos that I made years ago, back when I used to be a DIYer. Um, I made this like cute little bowl. I bought this, it was like $1 at Dollar Tree. And then I just painted the inside like with a gold color. I love it. Again, this is one of the things that I just like adore. I'm using it for jewelry. I have some hoops in there some rings, some earrings. Um, I don't like bracelets, so I don't have that. Okay, the next thing that I have is my little makeup brush thingy. It's right here. Have you ever seen a vanity tour where the girl gets on the vanity? Huh? Okay, so this is the other side. Right here, I have some pins. Usually, even though it's my vanity, this is where I plan out a lot of videos. Um, I feel weird because I'm like I can't see you guys. This is usually where I plan a lot of videos. I sit down, I make a blog post, um, basically everything. So I have my pins right here, and then I have a candle. This is the oh my god, it's hot. It's also hot. Okay, this made me not safe. Okay, this is the mahogany sandalwood by um. A brand that I'm not sure of. It smells really good. It's lit right now because I want my room to smell all like cute and mahogany. Okay, so the next thing is this baby right here. There you are. There's the light ring. So I have had this for a whole last year. Got this for Christmas um, last year, 2018, which is crazy that it's been a whole last year. But anyway, I love this. I use this to do my makeup. I It has lights. I don't I don't even think it has batteries. It doesn't have batteries. Um, I just like it better like this. Um, I feel like the light is not very strong. So it's just like this awkward light source, if that makes sense. Okay, so right beside the mirror, I keep lotions, deodorants, um, perfumes, all that jazz. I have a rule. Just so we won't look so cluttered, my rule is it can only be 13 and under items in this corner so 13 maximum i have let me just show you guys okay okay so let me just show you guys what's in this corner i have my lotion which smells so good it's one of my favorite lotions oh, just so fucking oh good okay and then i have this perfume this is called endless night i think i've talked about this several times um it is empty um it has like a teeny tiny bit but when I was using this perfume, it was my freshman year and I have so many memories from smelling this so I don't want to throw it away because it smells like falling in love and getting my heart broken. It was some happy times and then became sad but I love this so I always keep this in here. And the next one I have is this um, perfume by Pink. It's called Warm and Cozy. So fucking good. Every time I use this, I get compliments. Like, honestly, I'm not kidding, all the time. This has become my new signature scent because I put this on all the time and I even have a backup in one of the drawers because it's that good. Okay, and then I have some more perfumes, my Thayer's toner, which I like, some rose spray, I have my deodorant, and then I have some perfume, and then my sister just got me this 
for Christmas. It's by Pink Diamond and it smells like a fucking dream. Like, let me just, oh my God, so fucking good. Whew. Okay, this was so hard. I literally have like a tripod made out of books. Oh yeah, something's poking my butt. Okay, so hello guys, we're on the floor now and we just moved right down to this area. So right over here, I have makeup. You know what, let me just, let me just take out the whole drawer, okay? Okay, so here I have makeup. I have lipsticks in this area. I have like makeup removers, a moisturizer and setting spray right over here. And then I just have some mascara, some liner, face products, you know, that shit. Okay, right over here, this is like one of my junk drawers because I have like so much random shit in here. I have some makeup wipes, some nail polish, some coconut oil, um, a face massager type of deal, some face mask, a lint roller, nail clippers, gloves. Like this is just, this is just like random shit. That's actually very helpful. Okay, and in this last drawer right here, I have all my extra shit. So this is the stuff I don't use every day, but it's still like nice to have. I have some face mask, um, some more in the back. Um, and then I just have like some random like sunscreen, which I don't need right now. Um, I have some more lotion. Oh my God, I just have to talk about this. This is the Jurgens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. I have talked about this in my summer favorites and I'm gonna talk about it again because it is such an amazing product. It just makes your skin look so tan and glowy and oh my god i love it especially for the summer put some on your legs on your arms on your chest and you're fucking glowing like a goddess i have a bath bomb here which i need to use i've never used a bath bomb before actually and then i told you guys i have an extra of the last perfume because it's so good let's come over here don't fall, 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 you know what, it's good, okay. okay. So, we're on the other side, this is my first, this is a chair, but I'm just gonna like, scoot it over. Okay, so, first drawer is also makeup. This is where I keep my foundations, my palettes, my liquid lipstick, um, and my beauty blender, it's just... Oh shit, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and put that back. Next door, this is hair. So I have, oh, my hair brush isn't supposed to be here, okay. So this is hair, I have like, I have curly hair, so I've been using leave-in conditioners like all my life, pretty helpful. Um, I have like a couple of those. I have like my hair ties, my bobby pins, my hairspray um a couple combs a little headband just shit like that and then here last but definitely not least because kind of need this shit is where i keep my hair brushes and then i have my blow dryer my blow dryer is that what it's called hair dryer no blow dryer yeah i'm pretty sure um i have my curling iron i have my straightener and then i have some brushes very helpful I use it all the time because I have very curly hair that's like not tameable which is like right now because um I showered last night and my hair actually dried pretty decent actually like I was like ooh, and I used this it was a Pantene combing cream daily moisture renewal wow I used it my hair dried so good um, you guys probably can't tell because it looks messy now, but you know, it did look good last night. And also, <laughs> the blue is washing out, which is so sad. And I don't want it to because I don't like dyeing my hair, but I'm gonna have to do it again because I like blue hair. But honestly, the amount of times that kids have asked me, um, why is your hair blue? Like, because I want it and I don't have to explain myself to you, okay? And then they're like, but why? Oh my god fucking kids okay so um by the time you guys are seeing this you guys have seen my new intro and you guys are gonna see my new outro here in a bit so excited i felt so happy making them um i am really into like graphic design which is weird because i've never taken a graphic design class and like i'm a junior but 
I'm actually really into it and just designing shit online. So it was very nice sitting down and say, saying like to myself, like I want a good ass intro and an outro. So I sat down, I did it in a couple of hours, which I feel like professionals take longer, but it's cool, it's cool, you know? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And um, I hope 2020 is the year for this channel, honestly. I'm just really like praying to God and I have a couple goals and I feel like this year I'm going to keep them a little bit personal. I made a blog post, I'm pretty sure it was up yesterday and it just kind of talks about goals. It's on my blog, Instagram, at semi-mindfree. Um, I'm not that good with goals but I feel like I've definitely learned some things about them and i'm so excited i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like what are you doing go and subscribe